everyone, how are we doing? This is the first set of weekly quests, week zero. Don't think we got this last season, but we definitely did the season before that. But it doesn't matter, we're into a new era of Fortnite. Now, this is following exactly the same format as last season, which is you're getting your three quests. Once you complete each one of those, you'll get a secondary quest because there's two stages. Once you unlock five, you'll get the bonus quest and that bonus quest will get give you a free level all right guys let's get into it so first quest is visit sanguine suites relentless retreat and eclipsed estate three locations on your map you can see right there you have to visit each one of them you can't do the same one three times first of all we're going to go to the top right of the map to sanguine suites remember all you need to do is land in the vicinity of these locations don't have to land in the middle of them to trigger them as you can see here i'm landing on the outskirts of the rear of the building so it's not to draw attention to other players second of all we're going to go to eclipsed estate which is the top left hand corner um remember each of these these islands and locations have vehicles on them and you'll need to know that if you're wanting to use this to help towards one of the other weekly quests which we'll talk about later in this video and then finally we will go to relentless retreat which is the island shaped like a moon to the bottom left hand corner again all you've got to do is land in the area or the location of it as i said about the vehicles it's off to the end of that bridge there um but as soon as we land it'll trigger the third and final part of this and the completion for this part of the quest Travel distance in vehicles, one and a half thousand meters need to be traveled to complete this quest. And we can do this one in conjunction with the previous quest we just looked at. At the end of the bridge locations in each of these areas, there are vehicles. One of the new ones look quite snazzy. Um, and all you need to do is just drive until you get your one and a half thousand meters done. We're not going to show you me driving one and a half thousand meters. Uh, we're just going to look at the very end bit, which gives the completion. But generally stick to the roads. They go a wee bit slower on normal ground. Um, um, and you should get through it reasonably quickly. Destroy weakened walls or security gates. We need to do this twice to complete it. Um, easiest way to do this is to land in one of the three locations, as you can see on the map, because that's where it's telling you to head to. And inside those buildings, you will find either the security gates or you're going to find the weakened walls. Weakened walls look just like this, and you cannot damage them with your normal pickaxe or harvesting tool. What you're going to need to do, try to find, um, as the easiest way to do it, is going to be the rocket ram. You probably can do this with the remote explosives as well, but this is more fun especially since it's new into the game and um, just rev it up launch it send it off and you'll smash through the walls for some reason it completed on me unless i've had a secondary one while coming through that other area um, but that's what you're looking for the weakened walls are easy to find easy to get rid of um, and you know i happen to come across somebody fighting with the boss and just killed the two of them off for it so the first of the second stage quest is secure forecast data from forecast towers. We need to do this twice to complete this quest and it's not as difficult as it seems. Um, what we're looking for is these large towers here. They will pop up in the map and they have green lights on them. Um, and when you go to them to access the terminal, you need to kill the boss. So the boss is walking around with two bodyguards, very similar to the high card bodyguards and uh, boss from last season. Um, and again, these guys will not attack you unless you attack them first so line up your headshots if you've got a sniper like i've done here and it's done 262 damage to the guy it's taken out pretty much all of his shields um and then just get stuck into them the difference between these guys and the wildcard bosses for the vaults last year is that last year last year sorry last season when you took the bosses down they would crawl about or the minions would crawl about and you could do additional damage which was helpful to other quests you cannot do that this time around once they are down they disappear they're eliminated and gone um so bear that in mind it was a favorite tactic from last season for doing the damage quest but once you kill the boss he'll drop exactly the same kind of loot as the vault guys from last season which is the vault key card but for this one it's a radio key card they'll drop the slurp juice and we're going to take that because that's going to be exceptionally useful for the next part and we're going to lift um, the uh, legendary assault rifle in a moment as well so they drop the similar loot what we're looking for at the base of the tower is this terminal unit use your key card and it will then forecast secured you can see the future storm circles and we'll look at the map in a second you see the flashing light but as you can see on the middle right hand side there if you go back and pause it you'll see it as a symbol on the map for where the other forecast towers are this is exactly the same game we're going into the storm for this one which is why we've kept that slurp juice because when we take it it'll counteract the damage that is being taken because of the storm 
Also, the boss will have taken storm damage. I've just forgotten the card, so I better go back for that. Um, and it makes it easier. And as you've seen, even attacking the bodyguard, once I got him down a little, this storm did the rest of the damage and took him out for me. Same principles beforehand, back to the terminal, enter it in, and that storm circle stays for the rest of the game. Destroy objects, we need to destroy 200 objects um, to complete this quest. A little bit easier than it sounds and my strategy and advice for this one is get yourself a rocket ram, head to one of the three new island points of interest and just smash through the building um, and you will rack up a good bit of damage to objects and destroying them while you're doing it and it's as easy as that. The final two-stage quest is deal damage to opponents with SMGs or assault rifles. A total of 3,000 damage needing to be done to complete this one, which is hugely more than the previous damage quest in last season. Number of ways to do this, guys. Go against bosses. Huge shield, huge health, and you'll get a good bit of damage against them while doing it. Another tip to do for this one is get into the vault. Pull the last mythic item, it'll trigger an alarm and you'll get six low guards sent against you. Um, if you can take all of them out, you'll do probably around 700 damage in total, um, which is pretty good. And that's including the boss that we just had a look at as well. This is duo, so I've had to ask Puggy Killer just to step back. So he's trying to avoid fire coming in. Um, but if you can get to that point, grab that mythic, trigger the alarm, you'll get six guards coming against you as I say and then finally we'll go up against players and that'll help towards this as well and this kill gets puggy and I the victory royale in that duos match all happening in the same game now we're into the main event which is the land hits on opponents using the business turret this is the bonus quest for week zero business turret is actually really smart we've seen this in the teaser trailers you can carry two at a time you can throw them out and deploy them you can only do one at a time though and basically all you're needing to do is sit back and allow it to hit other players as you can see here 25 in total will complete this one for you and actually it's a really fun thing to do especially in duos this would be absolutely mad in squads if four people had these things and they were dropping them out especially in the end game um, but that's it for the video guys um, hopefully you found it all helpful drop a like on it comments down below subscribe to the channel so you're kept in the loop for all completion guides reviews and the rest in Fortnite for this brand new season going forward thanks for watching bye bye